Invasive candidiasis is a serious fungal infection that occurs when candida species, particularly candida albicans, enter the bloodstream or internal organs. It primarily affects immunocompromised individuals, including those with cancer, diabetes, or those who have undergone major surgeries. Today, we will explore the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention methods associated with this significant health concern. Candida is a type of yeast that naturally resides in various parts of our body, such as the mouth, gut, and skin, without causing harm. However, when the immune system is weakened or if there are significant disruptions in the body's balance, candida can multiply uncontrollably and invade deeper tissues, leading to invasive candidiasis. This condition can result from prolonged use of antibiotics, which disrupt the normal flora, or from the use of invasive medical devices like catheters and ventilators, which provide pathways for the fungus to enter the body. Common symptoms of invasive candidiasis can vary widely depending on the affected organ. In cases of bloodstream infections, you may notice fever and chills that do not improve with antibiotics. If the infection spreads to the organs, symptoms may include abdominal pain, headaches, or worsening respiratory symptoms if the lungs are affected. It is essential to recognize that these symptoms can sometimes be vague and may overlap with other conditions, making early diagnosis critical. To diagnose invasive candidiasis, healthcare providers will typically start with a physical examination and review the patient's medical history. This is often followed by laboratory tests, such as blood cultures, which can confirm the presence of candida in the bloodstream. In some cases, imaging studies like X-rays or CT scans may be necessary to identify the infections spread to internal organs. Once an infection is confirmed, treatment usually commences with antifungal medications. The most common first-line antifungal agents include fluconazole and echinocandins like caspofungin. The choice of medication can depend on factors such as the species of candida involved in the patient's specific health situation. It's important to note that treatment duration may vary. While some patients may respond quickly to antifungals, others may require several weeks of therapy, especially if they are critically ill or have multiple risk factors. Preventing invasive candidiasis primarily revolves around minimizing risk factors. In hospital settings, strict hand hygiene is crucial, as it can significantly reduce the transmission of healthcare associated infections. Patients who are at high risk, such as those undergoing surgery or receiving chemotherapy, should be closely monitored for early signs of infection so treatment can begin promptly. Additionally, for individuals who are often hospitalized, the use of antifungal prophylaxis may be considered, particularly during periods of increased risk. In the wider context, understanding invasive candidiasis is vital not just for healthcare providers but also for patients and their families. Awareness can lead to quicker recognition of symptoms, faster medical attention, and ultimately better outcomes. In summary, invasive candidiasis is a severe fungal infection that requires vigilance, particularly in vulnerable populations. By understanding its causes, recognizing its symptoms, and knowing the appropriate treatment and preventive measures, we can work together to combat this infection effectively. Thank you for watching, and remember to stay informed about your health and the infections that can impact it.